Hello. Um, very much along the same lines as the military collectibles book that I mentioned comes the all colour directory of Metal Toys, a pictorial guide to the art of collecting international playthings. It's done in the same format as military collectibles in that full colour pictures, each one has a number, descriptive text at the bottom, you match up the two, and it's a, this is the ideal book if you're into tin plate toys, um, model sold toy soldiers rather not model soldiers, and die cast military vehicles. Go out and source a copy. Now second hand, you'll have to buy a copy second hand. This particular one is a well battered ex library edition. It was put in the public library book sale. I bought it for ten pence many years ago. It's been well used since. I'll read the blurb on the back. It's a comprehensive guide to collecting metal toys by international makers. Complete coverage of the period 1870 to 1970. Mechanical novelties, trains, tin plate, die cast vehicles, tin plate ships, boats, tin plate and die cast airplanes, toy soldiers, farm, zoo, circus animals, packaging, catalogues, trademarks, more than 1,000 toys photographed in over 180 full colour pictures, each with a full text description and an internationally applicable guide to rarity. Advice on buying, selling and preserving toys, more than 75,000 words of authoritative text. It is, if you're into metal toys, the comparative item to the military collectibles book. It is an excellent publication. So this particular example, it was published by Salamander back in 1984. So it's now a really old book. You should be able to buy it, to be able to buy a copy on the likes of eBay for really next to nothing. It has uh, mechanical novelties, railroad toys, automotive toys, ships, boats, airplanes, soldiers, military toys, farms and animals, and some trademarks. And it's doing exactly the same way. Introduction, and then it starts. So if you're into... Um, Toy die cast airplanes, toy soldiers, die cast military vehicles. Buy a copy of that because you will find it very, very useful. It's not a guide to the likes of Dinky and Corgi and Spot On. It's mainly this tin plate penny toy type stuff and lead soldiers. So if you're into that, buy a copy because it's a handy reference guide and it's one that. You'll read, but you'll not get rid of it once you've finished it. It'll stay on your shelf and you'll use it for continual reference. So I'll put it on the chair, we'll have a flick through it, and you can determine whether or not you want to find your own copy. But I would advise you get one if you're into this sort of thing. So I'll put it down there and we'll have a look at it. Just bear with me. Turn that down there. The All Colour Directory of Metal Toys. It's done in exactly the same format as the Military Collectibles book. As you see, we have the contents there. Ex library stamp there. And it's just exactly the same format. It has quite a bit of text in at the beginning with the introduction. And then as we go through, it starts with mechanical novelties. So these are, get over there so you can see it properly. These are mechanical novelties. All tin plate stuff. Then you have railroad toys. And as I say, each item's got a number and it's got a text under there describing each item. Railroad toys still. Hornby Jubilo. Automotive toys, it's mainly tin plate stuff, motorcycles, so you see, if you if didn't the tin plate, it is well worth searching for a copy of it, fire trucks, minic, some lesney bits and pieces, pedal cars, Ships and boats. Quite a big selection. Airplanes. Soldiers and military toys. It's very comprehensive regarding those items. As you see, quite a lot of stuff covered. 
good representative selection. And the boxes, then you have the military toys. Farms and animals. Some catalogues and some makers' marks and a history of the British makers index. So, yeah, so really good book to have if you think that sort of thing. Metal Toys, all colour directly of, published by Salamander back in 1984. So, bye for now.